Hey everybody, Hero here, and while I know January has gone by without a video, like a bunch of all, like a lot of other YouTubers would have done, New Year videos and stuff like that, I was still fighting with my computer. But halfway through January, I finally got my computer upgraded. All the parts, the motherboard, the RAM, and the processor, as well as a new, even more powerful hard drive, God, I can, have all been put into my rig. And so far, so far, not a single random lockup has ever happened. Sure, there's an occasional lockup with the internet, but that's because our router's a piece of crap. Now, for those of you who are interested, Anthem's VIP beta happened last month. And its open beta happened earlier this month. Just a few short, just... Just a few short days ago, actually. I tried to count my, no, tried to count my fingers there. But I didn't get any footage of that because of... Uh, well, I wasn't... Because of, one, I wasn't feeling well, and two, this this abysmal weather we have down here in South Texas has just been draining energy like no one's business. But the footage you're seeing in the back right now was during Anthem's VIP beta. And of course, everybody knows how bad it was initially handled. But there is one thing that I discovered when I was when I finished each one hour what of recording of the missions that I was able to get to before the th the event ended and that I can record all of my videos from here on out at 1080p 60fps now of course I could have done that with my previous computer parts but here's the kicker S like I said the footage in the background right now is playing at 60fps but if I were to have done this with my previous computer parts I could have yes done it at the same resolution but I would have been sitting here waiting for anywhere from two to three, even four hours waiting for the video to render out of Elgato. Yeah, that sucked. The last time I made a video that was at 60 FPS was the very first video of my Final Fantasy 15 Let's Play, which I still have yet to finish. I had to, well, that's a whole nother story, actually. But when I got done with the hour-long recording with Anthem, which is on my Xbox, which can go up to 4K, while my, well, my computer can't. Holy crap. The speed that it rendered at was... In, was inconceivable to my mind at that point. I was like, whole, I was like, I like, I stopped recording. I turned off the game. I was there. I want to go get a snack and everything, because uh, I wholeheartedly <laughs> expected to be sitting here for like four hours waiting for this hour-long video to render at 60 FPS, 1080p, at the highest quality settings Elgato can go to. And I come back, and the green bar is done. And I was like, wait, what? So I look at it, the video was already done. But I didn't exactly believe it at first, so I went ahead and started up the second recording, and I actually sat there and watched. And wow. The vi Another one hour long recording session of the second mission of Anthem's demo it's at the same resolution took like four minutes. It took minutes to render out a video like that. 
Now, of course, this video right here isn't going to be the full two out two to three hours worth of video that I caught from the Anthem beta. It's just gonna be little bits and pieces here and there. But I'm actually genuinely going to be surprised at how long it takes Sony Vegas to render out a video like this. The the time of which will be in the description below. The total render time at the same project quality that the video is. So, I'm genuinely happy with my new computer parts and just how powerful they actually are. Which means that from here on out, now that I've finally got this video out of the way and that this mental fatigue I have, and hopefully the weather will actually start improving here soon, that all of my videos will be at maximum quality possible. Now, of course, there are some games that are not going to be 60 FPS native, which also coinc which also has the console of choice playing it playing a big factor. But they will be of higher quality than before, which I had to limit because of how unpredictable how unpredictable my computer parts were previously. But now, thankfully that I have these parts, it's smooth sailing from here on out. And there's still more room, and there's still even more room for improvement on this computer I have. So there's that. Li so there's your little New Year's update video from me. I'm gonna be getting back to recording and editing and finishing up Spyro, uh, Reignited Trilogy, Spyro One, and then I'm probably going to sit down and start editing some other things, as well as. Hmm, I don't know, maybe trying to make some, maybe like uploading, maybe like uh, making thumbnail make building videos or something like that in Gmod, I don't know, maybe that might be something you'd like, or maybe be interested in, but all in all, new parts, faster processing, better videos. That's all I got for this year. That's all I got ahead of me for this year. Also, I am going to be streaming a lot more often now that I have this much more stable computer at twitch.tv slash hero361. My current stream project is a reminiscing, is a, is a reminiscing stream of the entire Kingdom Hearts series. Of course, minus Recoded, which unfortunately was never turned into a console game, like Birth by Sleep was. And I don't have a, uh, I don't have an emulator for the D for that DS game as much as I would love to, because I really don't want Nintendo getting up my ass for recording an emulated game from their platform, from their DS platform. Even though I'm, even though they're not gonna get any money out of me because I can't, <laughs> I can't monetize or anything. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Take care.